It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And this, this guy, I mean, they take the long view of, uh, you know, their, their domination over democracy. They, they've taken, this, this guy, he's been at it forever, this uh, Leo Leo. He worked his way into the Bush administration, and that's when they, the, the, the whole Citizens United thing, it was all to make what was illegal, legal. The purchasing of judges, the purchasing of members of the House, the purchasing of members of the Senate. Leo became an outside advisor to the Bush White House on judicial nominations. He organized the campaigns around John Roberts and Samuel Alito's nominations to the court, both of which, of course, were successful. They landed up on the court. During the Bush years, Leonard Leo also developed a reputation, a well-earned one, as a conservative money man, as the Post reports. Money. And he expanded that role even after President Obama took office, especially in the wake of the 2010 Citizens United ruling, which opened the door for unlimited corporate spending in politics. Of course, the irony being that Leonard Leo himself helped bring about that awful ruling by putting several conservatives who voted for it on the court itself. Okay. He was then in position to reap the rewards by doing a lot of fundraising through these new channels that the court had just signed on to. He's ultimately a big part of why we are now seeing enormous, unprecedented sums of nearly untraceable money sloshing through our politics. I mean, 